What's going on, people? We're here to uh, discuss the beast today. Get your horns out. Everybody get their horns out. All right. <laughs> oh, jeez. Too much. Anyway, so this is the stuff we got left over with from the last uh, Ice Age. So we got to just roll with it. Because that's all we got. Anyways, we're getting into uh, Time versus 666, the Beast. Earth and Moon have been marked. They have the mark of the Beast. And I'm here to explain why. Explain. It's like one of my, one of my teachers. Uh, anyways, uh, yeah, 666, the sign of the Beast. All right, we're going into Revelations now. Hold on, strap yourself in. Going to Revelations down to Genesee. You got all the answers in this time of woe. All right, um, let's see. The Bible's got it. You got the answers. All you got to do is read them. All right, 13, Revelations 13, 18. This calls for wisdom. If anyone has insight, Look, they're not being too particular of this. It's basically saying anyone. Let him calculate the number of the beast, for it is man's number. His number is 666. 666. Triple sixes. All right. I'll get into the moon a little bit. Because uh, the moon and the earth, they're, uh, you know, they're, uh, they're, they're uh, you know, the, uh, the duo. Uh, you know, they're both being tagged with this, with this uh, crime, if you will. They're partners in crime. 37 times 18, a Sari cycle equals 666. Here's another number. Um, and, you know, we, we can play with the numbers all day long, but, uh, you know, when you're, when you're dealing with uh, equations, you can be, you know, more or less keep playing and you can get anything to make, uh, reach 666. So... We're going to avoid what everybody else has been doing and uh, cut right to the crooks of the biscuit. The crooks. I think there's crooks in them biscuits too. Anyways, this is a uh, Soros cycle. The moon has a cycle. It's like, oh God, it's, uh, you know, it's a metonic cycle. 18 and a half years, but it goes, uh, one of them goes up to uh, 1260 years straight. And it's only six hours uh, deviation, uh, you, you know. Um, we're in a, a perfect orbit between the Earth and the Moon. It's and uh, you know we're orbiting around the Sun, and um, it's just uh, it's just incredible. I mean, it's just mind-boggling the uh, precision of it all, the the exact nature of it all. Impossible, completely impossible. This stuff just came to be. This is uh, intelligent design, way beyond intelligent design. I mean, it's intelligence, just genius, absolute superb genius. Anyway, there's a little gift showing you the uh, the blue with the uh, the double blue lines are more or less follow eclipses, you know, over the Earth, and uh, it's just a just a you know just a, a visual. And uh, factoring out 666, Revelation 13:18. Six times six equals 36. You know those constellations. Uh, six times 11, 666, uh, it's uh, the sun number. 66, 666 is the number often given to the pagan sun god. Got to watch out for them pagans. Pagans have been, uh, you know, they've, they've been right more and more. Every day we, we uh, look into the pagan wisdom and, uh, you know, lo and behold, they, they were carrying the knowledge uh, from way, way back. So uh, bringing it forth, and uh, they they had something to say, but you know there was a war against them. Uh, you know, divide, conquer, whatever you want to call it. And uh, this thing just ba just barely made it out of the ice age. I mean, honestly, folks, we are so lucky that this thing just didn't get tossed into the ocean. The Mayan calendar, it is a mechanized. Uh, procession clock really you know you got the earth's wobble well this is this is the mechanized earth's wobble it tracks to 26,000 roughly it's a little bit 
I rounded up to 26,000. It's 25,800, 900 and change, whatever. I just rounded up to 26,000. Argument sake. And um, this, uh, the geniuses that uh, pulled this thing apart and, and made some sense out of it all. It's just, just incredible. Absolutely incredible. So that being said, we have, um, you know, we have uh, a clock that's uh, a mechanized procession. Now, this is the largest clock on the planet, really. I mean, this is the largest calendar, uh, you know, that we've, we've been able to uh, retrieve from the, the Ice Age, you know, previous to the Ice Age. It's probably been down here for 300, 400 million years, so it did, it did survive. And here's a little uh, gift showing the, uh, the mechanics of this clock, the long count, the short count. So it's just got some gears in it and uh, just clicks every day, a little notch. Right around. Now uh, we get into uh, you know another wheel in the cog thing. This ain't a gift, just a straight picture. More or less shows you the uh, the mechanics behind that calendar. Absolutely ingenious, unbelievable, just ingenious. And uh, this is the end all be all clock. So if the Mayan calendar gets uh, tossed and in, tossed into the ocean or uh, you know some. Uh, crazy religious whack jobs come in and destroy it because they think it's the work of the devil, we have procession. And procession is the, uh, you know, end-all, be-all clock off the planet, so we can't get to it and destroy it because we, you know, don't like that devil keeping time. Um, honestly, the, uh, the, it's the Earth's wobble that actually gives us some semblance of time. And uh, that being said, if we didn't have the Earth's wobble, we wouldn't know what time it was, honestly. Besides, you know, we can make up little mechanical clocks, but we, we, just, we just don't have any uh, reference in time because we, we're spinning in the Milky Way galaxy and everything's spinning with us. So uh, that said, I've got this globe right here. I'll give you a little visual of the, uh, the, the big wobble. All right, it's just, it's just one of these jobs, right? 26,000 years to do one complete wobble, which has uh, been named procession. I'll keep this down here. I'm going to use that in a minute. I'll make another point. Anyhow, that said, uh, the wobble was engineered into the planet. It's like everything. Everything is engineered into our existence here. And, uh, you know, that's, that's what it's all about, people. It's about, you know, getting, getting, uh, you know, start, start uh, being amazed and um, at, at all of this, uh, you know, brilliant engineering here. Call it geoengineering, the planet builders, what have you, but uh, just incredible. Here's another uh, little gif here. Um, here's the, the earth, sun, and uh, the wobble, okay? So when you get the wobble, the wobble changes your orientation to the constellations that we have um, been blessed with. Who named the constellations, right? Uh, anyways, we won't get into that. We're gonna stay on, stay on topic here. So that being said, we got, um, you know, got the, const the zodiac houses up there. They're uh, anywhere from, a, you know, they're averaging about 2,000 years a, a uh, cycle. You know, a house. This is a GIF. Uh, it should kick in at any moment now. Come on, technology. Don't fail me now. All right, so this is going to just give you a little visual on the wobble. You can see up here, it just rotates. It's 26,000 26, uh, year rotation. And our orientation of those constellations during sunrise changes from, uh, you know, house to house. That is. The clock. That is the clock. That is the only clock we really have. Um, you know that that uh, we we have any any kind of semblance of time. I mean, yeah, we get the uh, orbit of the you know the planets around the this, you know the solar system, the sun, and then we have you know the uh, t twenty-eight day uh, moon cycle, twenty-seven uh, point two two three. There's your two two three people. Uh, uh. Anyway, so. Uh, well, uh, you know, and, and obviously, you know, the solar year for the uh, for the Earth, you know, 365 days. And then right here, we got some other uh, spring equinox, 
Earth's rotation west. We got the uh, fall equinox, sun in the middle, obviously. Another visual on the uh, procession. And the tilt. Now, there's the beast. The beast is the tilt, okay? And it's also the number, uh, the uh, rotational speed has the beast number attached to it, which you're going to find out in a few seconds. Now, uh, like I said, previous videos, we have five images on the moon that uh, my uh, researcher and I have uh, cracked the code of these images. 545 moons in our solar system, and only one has darkened regions that actually um, are images. There's actually a face up here, the, the human face here, the geometry of this human face is incredible 750 miles ear to ear okay we got uh, cancer up the top a tropic of cancer in the northern part of the moon tropic of capricorn in the southern uh, part of the moon the sea this is the sea that holds the globe okay and there's actually a cobra up here with two eyeballs go figure you know i'm sure people in the know already got this already got it figured out but uh, this is the the C I'm talking about here, I don't know if you can see, see, wait for a better video, uh, clip so you can see it. But anyways, this uh, C right here, and, okay, that's on the moon like I just showed you. It's right there. There's actually dots in the moon that show you the uh, procession. Uh, not the procession, the tilt, the actual tilt that the uh, Earth has. And it's infinite um, intelligent design. All right, here we are in the Milky Way galaxy. Um, you know, here we are in the sun right here. There's the center of the galaxy. And we're just zipping around, you know. 300 and, uh, is it 300 million years? 330, I think it's 330 million years, 320 million years to make one revolution, you know. Uh, we don't have a clock that big. Uh, not that I'm aware of yet. Um, it's pretty big chomp of time. We've, we've probably gone around 40 times maybe in uh, the uh, you know the existence of the moon and the earth, which is uh, quite incredible. So we do make the uh, rotation, and we all you know we a lot of if you believe in uh, reincarnation, we're coming back and going back and in and out. It's just a joyful ride, the ascension of the soul. Um, what's going on here? The, uh, we have the uh, sun, the solar system, doing 11 and a half million miles a, a day, and uh, it's half a million miles an hour, so, you know, put your seatbelt on, just in case we have to stop short, and you're lazy boy, strap yourself in. So, uh, great gift, you guys have probably seen this on the internet, YouTube, uh, I think it's um, Nassim Harriman might have come up with this, if I'm not mistaken. Eh, yeah, there's, a, there's a website on it. Anyways, um, excellent. It just gives you a good, good visual where we're at, where we're going, and what's going on out there. All right, here's the correlation about all this um, talk that I've been uh, yammering about since the beginning of the video. Correlation with causation. The Earth's orbital speed is 66,600 miles an hour. Again, numbers are coming, coming down from the ages like you hear other researchers. A lot smarter than me telling you that, uh, you know, the, the reoccurring numbers are 72, 104, 28, 27. You know, it just goes on and on and on. 7, you know, 14. Um, uh, anyways, you get you get these numbers. You know, this these they, and some of the big numbers actually make it into the Bible, uh, you know, other, other ancient doctrine, um, the Vedic texts, uh, you know, the Quran, uh, you know, the Torah. I mean, a lot, all these numbers, they get passed down, and, and um, here we are. We're getting them. We're trying to make some sense out of it all. So the irony here is, uh, out of all the orbital speeds that we could possibly be, possibly be doing, we're, we're, we've matched the mark of the beast, which is 66.6. Uh, so 6.66, however, which way you want to pronounce it. Okay, so... That's it. That's the orbital speed, 66,000 miles an hour, 66,600 miles an hour around the sun. Day in and day out, year in and year out. And uh, like I said before, 
there's two correlations to the number associated with the Earth, and then this one is the axis is at 23.4 degrees, and uh, the flip side of that, 90 degrees, is how we're measuring it is 66.6. .6. So again, the mark of the beast, the sign of the beast, the number 666. So anyways. Um, Again, we're back to the globe here. We got the tilt. Like I said, this this um, this thing is on the moon, and you see dots. But the way they the way they measure the tilt on of the Earth is it starts here at zero and goes all the way down this way to 90 degrees. Okay, then it goes from zero all the way up here to 90 degrees. So we we measure the tilt on a quarter of the 90 degree. Angle because this this C clip is actually uh, 180 degrees, but they cut it in half because of uh, you know because it's it's easy to uh, measure the uh, or, you know measure the uh, the lines of latitude on on the globe as it's spinning around. Okay, all right. I hope I explained that proper. Um, anyways, but if you look at this number down here, it actually says 666 down the bottom. You know, everybody says 23.4 because they're frightened of the triple sixes, but it's actually, you know, the tilt is 666. So it slices both ways. All right, we go, we go from, uh, we go from uh, ice age to interglacial and interglacial to ice age. Well, both, uh, both um, trips are, are, are horrific. You, you, you feel like the beast is, um, you know, pouncing on your head because your, your whole environment is it's either being flooded out, you know, get the flood, right, where everybody's uh, running for higher ground, hence the, turn, hence the, uh, the house, the Zodiac house, Capricorn, and read up in the, uh, you know, the story of Capricorn, you'll, you'll understand that that's, uh, you know, the tide coming in, the, uh, you know, the little goats, uh, the little goat fish swim up the mountain, get legs, and they're out of here, daddy, see you later. Daddy, daddy and mommy uh, goatfish. So, anyways, um, uh, read, you know that's uh, all that knowledge is in uh, my book, uh, our book. Uh, there is something about the moon, and um, again, it's the uh, it's the tilt going in and out of these larger cycles that cause the beast to come alive and uh, throttle down humanity and uh, you know life in general has to has to make some big adjustments on a, on a fairly fast pace okay you have a lot of extinctions and uh, you know all life forms come back on the earth that's the beautiful thing about this planet they will come back you know they, they, the life forms are in microscopic uh, forms as we speak you know diatoms they will over time you will get every species that will that has ever been on this planet will come back and it's uh, in its in its form and it's in its majestic splendor. All right, all right. So, Earth, Moon. Okay, there's the uh, images on the Moon. Is is Kansu? This guy's got eyes, ears, mouth, nose. Yeah, he's got a beard. Um, uh, you know, we got the claw up here. We got the cobra all the way there, and you got Capricorn and across. I said the C. You can see the uh, dots in the C. Those are the the um, uh, uh, you know tilt angles that we go in and out of on this planet, marked right there in plain view. Well, eight billion people have all been looking at the moon the wrong way. Anyways, uh, that's it. It's about the tilt, the angry tilt that causes uh, six sixty six, the number of the beast, to come into play. Okay. So it's 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 all part of nature. You can't you can't um, because of yeah thermodynamics. Really, it just comes down to really simple, simplistic thermodynamics. You can't have a planet um, just stay at an even temperature in this environment. It's it's either rising or going down. It it, it can't like just flatline. You know, it's just not it's not possible in this um, in this paradigm this dimension that we live in everything has to have an opposite and, and because we have opposites we're always going to the ice or we're going into the heat or vice versa you know so um you know there's a little theosophy there uh don't freak out stick stay with me man don't pull back let this stuff seep in it could save your life all right we got these uh cleopatra's needle 
I don't know why she got dubbed with that name. Why these things got dubbed with Cleopatra's Needle? I don't know, man. I don't know. She's, maybe she got some... Uh, never mind. I'm like, I don't want to digress. I got a good video going. Uh, anyways, we got the obelisk. We got the... Yes, they've been liberated for a better cause, I guess. Who are we to tell? Who are we to say? Like we have City of London. That's an Egyptian obelisk. Washington Monument. Um, I guess there was no obelisk left to take. They had to build their own. And then we got the Vatican, you know. As good old Vatican Saint 